If you've seen our previous episode, you know we have been preparing to fly to Europe while Noma stayed in the marina in Curaçao. We stayed there for two months, so we want to show you some of the highlights of our European holiday. After saying hello to the family, we took our camper and drove to our home in Spain. The trip there is always very beautiful and a lot of fun. This time we stopped to watch an etape of the Tour de France in the Pyrenees in the south of France. In Spain we took some time off at our house. We did some barbecuing and enjoyed the beautiful views that we missed a lot. We swam in the pool every day and did some more barbecuing. So we're doing some barbecue in our vacation look. Ooh. And the question is, is this summer? And of course we also prepared some delicious traditional Spanish paella. After a few amazing and relaxing weeks in Spain, we drove through France, back to Belgium, to spend some time with our friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> On our way there, we stopped at Dune de Pilate. This is with its 100 meters, or 328 feet high, the highest dune in Europe. The kids had so much fun climbing up and running back down for like a hundred times. They slept very well that night. We spent one week in a holiday home in France with my family. We had a lot of catching up and partying to do. And also back in Belgium we had a lot of parties to attend to, which was a lot of fun of course. Okay, are you ready? You got a beautiful car. We are going to test this. I don't know what's the brand. Ah, uh -uh, you're not coming. Yeah, no, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going to film you. Woohoo! Bye bye. What a beautiful private car. Okay. Vamos. Get my seat belt. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> That's a crazy car, eh? Oh. Well, when is it? Oh, people there. People! How many kilometers can you do? Oh, it's I full. Oh, it's still, it's still it's just full. Do we Whether have uh, blinkers? How is it called? <laughs> Let me try. Yes! We oh, do we? Have a <laughs> 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 okay, whoa! Okay, here we go. Hey, that's a nice car. Hey, wish I had that in Spain, eh, right? Full speed! It's a crazy one. It has beautiful air. Uh, come Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have seat belts. So I cannot hold, I, hold I cannot on. hold there, wait. I have hold to hold on. myself. Don't take 90 degrees corners, <laughs> please, okay. this thing. Here you have uh, some hold, uh, cup holders. Hold on, hold on, I'm turning. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, go. 
and you can go on the smallest roads possible so that's nice to have this golf cart yes. yeah we have a golf cart for five minutes and we have so much fun it's just incredible it's so great my yeah. first time in a golf cart <laughs> i love it we don't play golf with it we, just, <laughs> <laughs> we don't play golf we just run around. Time flies when you're having fun, so very soon it was time to head back to Curaçao. We arrived late in the evening and immediately we had some cleaning to do. There was a thick layer of dust all over the boat. After a good rinse the worst was gone and we could go to sleep. In the morning we noticed the bird's nest with three little eggs in our lazy bag. After watching it for a while we concluded that the mother bird was probably too afraid to come back to her nest now that we were back. So we decided to take the nest away. We were going to move out of the marina soon so they couldn't stay there anyway. Yesterday we found a bird nest and today we went to check if there was anything inside. There were three eggs. I googled what for sort of eggs there were and they were common blackbird eggs. Now I didn't want to throw them away or uh, do them away so we're going to try to take care of them as long as we possibly can. I googled up how you should take care of them and you had to do it in snuggle in a towel, a warm towel in a shoebox with light on top of it. They have to always have 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. So we are very happy that our de-moisturizing system worked well. Look how much water it caught. So Sven made these boxes we put the dehumidifying bags on top so that all the water would go in and it worked perfectly we put boxes like this all over the boat and all of the sinks so if they would overflow it would flow in the sink and in the closets we put these bags dump it bags in all the closets and they are also almost completely full so they did a great job as well. We're very happy, no moisture in the boat. When everything was clean we moved out of the marina and into the anchorage in Spanish water.
Our holiday in Europe was great, but we had sure missed the life on board. We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know I took out the jib uh, out of the bills because we stored it. There's a little bit of mess there. Yesterday we cleaned the lines and the fenders. They're just on the deck now. And we got some charcoal left to be put earlier in the bilge to protect the boat from moisture. And it worked pretty well. So now we're gonna keep the charcoal and we are going to make barbecue now and then. I don't know where and when, but just keep it and we can start for now. Okay, we choose today to do this, uh, to show you how to put up a jib, because it's a little bit cloudy, it's not so warm and sunny, because on the deck, in the middle of the day, it's, uh, you know, we cannot stand the heat. It's 35 or 36 degrees here in Curacao. So first things first, we're going to prepare the, the jib sheet, the line. Okay, good, we're going to do that. Before we're going to do anything, we're going to make sure that the system here is gliding well, that everything is clean after storage. So I clean it by hand a little bit like this. And if necessary, I, I need to oil the bearing, but this, I, I think it's smooth one. It's very good, so I'm going to clean this a little bit where the rope is attached and where the where the rope is glide on. Okay, we have to make this video in between the showers and soaked, but okay, it's, it's nice and fresh now. Um, I'm going to loosen the jib sheet because I secured it here uh, because when our boat was in the marina. So I'm going to loosen so that I can reach the, the end of the jib. So we are going to put this line through the middle here and then I'm through the hole in the top and I make a figure of eight knot. Now I'm going to turn it 31 times in clockwise direction because when we want to, uh, when we want to um, take in the jib and the line breaks or snaps in the middle, then because if we put it 31 times here, we can take the rest of the line and take the jib in any way. If you don't do that and your line snaps, yeah, you get a big problem. You cannot take the jib in anymore. So let me count now. One. So I open the, the line and make sure there's no twists or knots in it. So I can run it through all the loops and all the pulleys. So the first pulley is there. Make sure the pulley is turning smooth and then run the line through it.
to put that line through the block it's very easy you just open the clamp you you pull this up with your finger like that and then you take the line and you feed the line through the block that's it up. and then the last one here and then we can pull until all the slack is gone oh there needs a little bit more oil okay that's it for now this is our jib that we carefully folded this good let me secure that good so we have attached this line to take up the the jib and then we we attached the, the top of the jib so now it's important that you glide it well into the right one you have two uh, glider channels here so because mine is turning when I furl it, it's going counterclockwise, it has to go in the first one. Because when it goes in the first one, the force on the sail is 90 degrees. When you put it in the second one, the force of the sail is 180 degrees. If you do it wrong, it can damage the sail, there's too much force. If you do it right, that's the right way. The next thing we have to do, and do not forget, because these things go up and we cannot get to them anymore, so now we have to secure normally this thing the screws with a I do it with a tie wrap let's tie wrap it up always secure them if you can with a tie wrap so they don't undo themselves In our next episode, we'll go sailing again after having spent two months on land. We'll sail to Klein Curaçao, an uninhabited island that we have all to ourselves for a couple of nights. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like our video and leave a comment. And if you want to support us, you can buy us a drink by clicking on the link in the description.